Dandelions. My child on safari through the backyard grass picks a pride of them as trophies. I know in time their manes will silver and my child, grown older, will blow parachutes of spun seed over alien country. Rosette cluster thrust toward me, love seems most like the lion's tooth. Giant pandas. Contrary creatures, carnivores evolved to live on shoots. Bear cats that the Ming Chinese believed ate copper cooking pots. Bulky as beer kegs, they must slip each hemp line snare, then dodge each hunter's blind, becoming addled blurs to the poacher's eye. Jailbirds, black patched lifers, hostage to the flowering of bamboo. Under house arrest, they pace, tagged and monitored, kept to high ground by slash and burn. Tinged snowdrift and deep tree shade, they just blend in, knowing their place. Shy cousins to burly cave bears, they slink through time, discreet and buttoned down as butlers. Cain. Again, my brother's tattered flock of half-wild goats and horned ewes strayed into my greening fields. All greed and want, they trampled the sprouting seed and tore at the fresh millet shoots. Again, they dropped sticklebirs and thistledown from the wasteland into my furrows. Curse him, a man more sloth than shepherd. He left me only last year's grain, gray with mold, for my offering. For sacrifice, Abel lugged a kid by the hooves toward the altar. It was a starved beast near dead from mites and its belly bloated with black water. Roughly, he slit the beast's throat and dumped the flesh on broken sticks heaped on the high rock, the rank spoilage soon disguised by charring flames. My rage pried from the earth a jagged stone, and I broke Abel open like a spring field. I harrowed my young brother and threshed him like harvest grain. I wanted to scatter his spirit like chaff, but the voice of his blood sang out from the soft, wet ground. Northern Shrike. Gray impaler fills its larder with voles and locusts deep in the thorn bush, and along the barbed twist of the meadow fence gapes the rictus of a white throat. Two ounce killer, elfin butcher with tiny cleaver and lethal hook pierces clumsily on littered ground or kills cleanly in mid-air. Deadly mimic, voice rings both false and true across the ragged hedgerow and abandoned field, capturing each pure pewter note of its duped prey. Goldfinch, gypsy bird, glutton of thistle seed, flits down and out. At the brink, it slips in and out of harm's way, a rumor almost. Its augury seems accidental, stooping to the mockery of thorns. No golden raptor, it veers and yaws, plumes not gilt, but yellow. Its nest, lined with thistledown, coddles blemished pearls. Its song is silvery, semi-precious, scored for flute, not horn. Wasps. To that paper castle they charge, bristling with news of everyday carrion and ordinary ruin. 
On furious wings they rush the ramparts and moat of air, hissing slander and scandal of decay. Accident or chaos draws them out, these yellow journalists swarming with barbed print. Woolly Bear Caterpillar an idler dawdles along the late fall path. A dull glutton, he confronts the coming of hunger and cold through girth and bristles, his shelter of pelt. His barometer coat, shaggy as a Cossack hat. The darker the bands, the harder the winter. He will dig in against ice against siege, to emerge stiff and creaky as a rusted hinge, and starved in the famine of first spring, its brittle air, before dwindling to the leanness of moth, before floating on the thin dream of wings. <laughs>